Hello all, welcome to rotanews.com. This is continuous to a session on which we have discussed how to be perform get request using a data file. In this sample, we are discussing about how do we loop post request using data file. So we'll try to understand what is a prerequisite and how do we configure the runner and how do we validate from the end system also. The prerequisite is we require a Postman desktop tool and the REST API which I'm using is from Oracle Fusion ERP which is AP invoice creation using the post operation of REST API. You can use any other post operation also but in my case in the sample I'm using post operation for Oracle Fusion AP invoice and this is a URL for that. Now so how do we perform that right so the first foremost thing thing is you have to create a collection and then under the collection you have to create a post request and here I have mentioned the post request and also the very important thing is here we want to pass all this particular data which is required for the post request from the payload nothing but from the file we want to pass it so that is the reason what here if you observe what I have done is I have provided everything all the particular values in the flower braces and respective double quotes wherever required for if at all if it is a date if the value belongs to a character or a date make sure that you enclose them in double quotes if it is a number double quotes is not required and here i mentioned double quotes followed by flower braces then followed by a variable name so here if you observe the variable name is p underscore invoice number p underscore invoice currency like that so these particular values will be replaced at runtime by data file which we provide Okay, so now once you prepare the data payload like this, the next thing what you have to do is you have to click on a runner, which will be available on the Postman footer tab. Once you click on runner, you have to drag and drop your particular post request onto this runner. Once you have dropped and dragged and dropped this particular post request, what you can do is you have to select the data file which you want to consider for data upload. Select the data file. And then once the data file is selected, is simply click on run ap invoice create loop and in my case i have five records in the csv file that's the reason it was showing five iterations and then once you click on run ap invoice create lookup and it will take a couple of seconds or minutes based on the functionality and then once it is done what you can do is you can try to validate from the end system in our case as we are working with the fusion ap invoices i could validate the logic i could validate the data using the Oracle Fusion VIP report and here I could see that like these are set of invoices which I created using the postman post request okay so now let us try to check out the same sample from the postman now so I'll just navigate to the postman first and here so I'll just close all these things as I already have it right so I'll just create a new one so either you can create exist you can you you can create the collection in the existing workspace or you can create the new one either way it could be fine so as i already have this particular workspace right better i'll use the demo workspace here in which i don't have any create logic so i'll create in the demo workspace if at all if you don't have workspace you can create a workspace if you're having it just use the existing one so i'll just close the unnecessary things okay now here i'll click create a collection so i'll just mention the collection name here ap invoice create collection then i'll click on add a request so here i just want to create a request of type post this is the first thing and what is the url for the post request so i mentioned here i'll just get from here let me copy from here okay this is a post request okay and click on authorization click on basic authentication so automatically it got added up as i've been using this particular username credentials and the website from long time so it just auto populated but in your case make sure that you populate the appropriate one now the next thing is you just click on body and click on draw and here json so now we have to provide the sample json data so in our case so this is sample data with the dynamic parameters i'm just copying this one okay now so but where are these variables defined right so if you observe here right so before that click on save click on environment
okay so there are no variables defined at this level these all variables we have to define now okay we'll try to define at the collection level i'll just click on collection click on variables and you have to create variable one by one it will take a couple of seconds yeah but let's do it quickly Invoice amount, invoice date, business unit, supplier, supplier site, and description, line number, and amount. Okay, so now these are the variables, right? So now, but try to let's enter a sample value also. So let's say this is my invoice number. And I'll just say currency as USD, amount as 100 or 150. Invoice date, 24 hyphen 01. Hyphen ten business unit supplier description. line number okay so now this number is already available so better if you observe the fusion erp right so i've been working with already it already so till 15 it was created so better i'll just mention it as 16 okay so i'll go with here mention 16 and 16 so save it now click on the post new request okay so now we can also validate from here i'll just be reloading the fusion environment so let's see the latest invoice number which is available in the system so it is aura invoice aura invoice main which is 15015 now let's try to click on send okay the 16th invoice got created you can also validate from here click on view we should see the latest one 16th invoice number yeah perfect now the next thing is we'll try to prepare the data file so i already prepared a csv data file which has a similar one so now we'll start the sequence from 17 okay as six, till 16 was created we'll try to start the sequence 17 and automatic references here auto filling stuff so i'll just do the same way here yeah so now we have a data file which is having five records now what we do is click on runner and now drag and drop this particular collection or a post request either of them it should be fine now this is our post request now select the data file which we prepared invoice create data.csv it automatically shows five records as it is i mean five iterations because it was having five records and also enable this particular setting persist response for a session and click on this particular button run ap invoice create collection okay so perfect so it says 201 created so we know that whenever you have 201 it means it's a success right so you can see the latest data from fusion here just click on view and it has to have the latest invoices starting from 17 to 21 17 18 19 20 and 21 which were created just fraction of seconds back now let us say if we try to run the program again it will definitely fail because invoice number is unique in the fusion and you can try that also here let us say click on run again and all these particular things will fail it says that invoice number already existing you must provide a unique invoice number let us say if you if at all if you're trying to change the invoice number now let us say if i 
change it from change this one to 22 and uh, Okay, now upload the latest data file again. Okay, so I'll just click on new run and select the data. I'll just remove it and select the file again. Now try. Yep, perfect. So it's creating the new request, which is starting with 22. And you can also check it from the fusion also, the same thing. 22 27 so this is how we can just loop the post request using a data file the only very crucial thing is preparation of this particular payload with appropriate parameters and also the csv file which we prepared here the csv file which we prepared one minute, let me show you the csv file which we prepared here so this particular parameter has to match with the json payload which is prepared in the postman this particular parameter has to match with the cs the data file which you are providing that's how it will try to correlate what value to be replaced at runtime okay so this is all about how to be pass dynamic data from the data file to a post request in the postman thank you